Let's put it simply. I guess for me to make films is to um, more and more. I guess maybe not. Maybe it was not conscious at the beginning, but more and more to make films is to uh, learn about different aspects of of life and different, different cultures of, of the world. Making a film is like putting myself in a situation where I wouldn't be able maybe to put myself if I was not making a film, if I didn't have a camera with me and if I didn't have the project of filming a guy playing music. It allows me to um, to travel in a really like deep countryside of Indonesia and to end up in a village where they've been playing the same music for thousands and thousands of years. Yeah. I traveled more and more because of my films. People were like asking me to, to go to tour with them, you know, like the Arcade Fire or REM or, or the National. So those bands were like, it was kicking me. It was like, okay, wow, I was on the road and I was, oh, yeah, it's great. I love being on the road for quite a long time, actually. And, uh, and then I ended up being, just uh, no homeless without without really the desire actually of, of being like that and uh, and then I started to travel and travel and travel more and more in places that I didn't know I was just too curious you know it's just like a simple need of uh, of just learning something else of being somewhere else and and, and uh, in, especially of being in a in a place where you're not it's not comfortable you know the, trying to avoid the comfort zone and uh, as much as possible that's the only way to learn in my opinion. Depending on the music you approach, you sort of like have to think about it differently, you know? Not only the sound of it, but also like the, the socio-cultural context. And so when, yeah, when, then when I started to film traditional music, or more like, you know, popular music in a place where those music are from, it made so much sense, actually. I guess my desire of like the, the takeaway show project we started with a friend of mine in, in Paris came really from desire of like breaking the certain rules of like music representation and mostly the, the, those rules were like rules which that we saw in a world of like rock and pop music you know basically I, I, I was like why why would we film music on stage music it was not on stage before music doesn't come from that after that, when, I, when, when you approach other, other forms of music, traditional music and stuff like that, that music is already on the street, you know, when you go, you go to those little villages in Indonesia and stuff like that, and music is not performed on stage anyway, you know? So it's like, uh, the relationship is not the same. I'm not trying to uh, challenge it in a way that, okay, I'm going to have those guys perform in a new way. But actually, they're already performing in, in the most natural way for, for me, what's the most like, you know, simple way to, to, to be. Just like music is part of every moment in society, so. I definitely don't see myself making films forever, but I know I barely see myself making films now. Actually, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm just I'm just the worst cinema director ever, and I really mean it. But uh, it's very funny tonight. I'm just showing my films on the on this rooftop, rooftop in, in Melbourne. <laughs> Hello, welcome, Melbourne. Cool. How are you? Not too cold, I hope. I'm freezing. Sometimes I just look at. You know the world scene, like people are watching my films, I'm like, this is weird. Am I really making those films? And why are people watching that stuff actually? 
That's very personal. <laughs> Stop watching that. It's too intimate. <laughs> yeah, really. That's that's really the reaction I have. These are very intimate stuff that I'm sharing in a way. I don't know. Ah, it's funny. But I don't know, I'm really happy, huh? <laughs> I'm really happy. It's very, yeah, uh, it's my memories. It's not all my memories.